According to CNBC's disruptor list, SpaceX has taken the lead now in the new space race. And tonight, Morgan Brennan gives us a rare look inside SpaceX operations in Hawthorne, California. I'm the Elon founded the company for us to do great things in space and ultimately plan a settlement and, and put people on Mars. So that's really the way we think of ourselves. Space exploration technologies, SpaceX for short, has been racking up wins. Since last year, the company has successfully flown a dozen rocket boosters previously sent to space, including a launch carrying commercial satellites this afternoon. In February, it made history when its Falcon Heavy became the most powerful rocket ever launched by a private company. And, the Falcons have landed. and then made history again when two of its boosters returned to Earth. That ability to reuse hardware enables SpaceX to drive down costs, dramatically undercutting competitors even as it turns a profit. Now, longer term, both you and Elon have expressed this vision to see rocket launches that are as regular as airliner flights. When does that happen? We launched 18 times last year, served the market. As I said, this year we'll launch just under 30, serving the market. And we're doing probably 60% of the launches 60% um, of the launches across the globe. So in order to launch every day, you have to have a lot more launches. And I think once we're flying people, uh, that could actually be realized. SpaceX is expected to begin carrying astronauts for NASA from U.S. soil to the International Space Station as soon as December. And development of an even more powerful rocket called the BFR is, according to Shotwell, on track to start sending humans to Mars in 2024. I really want space exploration to be like what you see in the TV shows, Firefly, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars. I want to meet other people, or whatever they call themselves. I think that really should be the ultimate goal. Mars is the stepping stone. That new rocket is under development, expected to be in use within the next few years. Meantime, the company is building more of its workhorse vehicles, producing an engine per day, and using cutting-edge manufacturing techniques like 3D printing. Here inside SpaceX's factory, the company has the capability to turn out two rockets per month. Currently in production, the newest, most powerful version of Falcon 9, called Block 5. That rocket, which first launched earlier this month, is intended to fly up to 100 times. What does that mean for launch costs? Launch costs, hopefully, will continue to go down. I think to the point where uh, the average person uh, could actually buy a ticket to Mars. That's really the ultimate goal for what we're trying to do here at SpaceX. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan in Hawthorne, California.